Oh, what's up, Will? How we doing? Welcome to the crib, man. Come on in. So why did I take this job? Well, part of it is um, my why within education, which for me, since um, since my senior year of high school, I felt like I wanted to do something that matters. And I think every job, you can find something that matters in it. I think education, you're just constantly tripping over things that matter um, because so much of the job truly matters. Um, so whether when I was teaching at Lee High School in Grand Rapids, or when I was working at Mona Shores as an assistant principal there, um, or now here, I think that there are moments um, everywhere, inside a classroom, in a hallway, in a, in a football huddle, in a conversation with a teacher, in a conversation with a parent that matters. And that's why I took the job. You know, uh, I just had a great conversation with Pete Schwallier, Mr. Schwallier, and he and I were talking about how it's okay to sometimes focus on the negative because the negative has opportunities in it. So what's the difficulty in my job? There's there's a lot of negative things in my job in terms of like tough conversations, difficult um, decisions you have to make on behalf of students or that affect a parent's opinion or whatever that is. Um, there's a lot of tough things I think that come with being an assistant principal anywhere. But again, what Mr. Schwallier was just such a good reminder is there's opportunities in some of those things that we could grow in. I loved being able to um, really encourage. That was kind of my, I feel like that's kind of my strong suit is trying to find um, something in a student that uh, maybe they don't see in themselves and encourage and, and uh, inspire students to be um, better than what they are or than what they think they can be a student that was struggling in ceramics class. She's like, why do I take this class? I was like, I don't really know. It seems like an awesome class. Your teacher is amazing. Um, just do the first project for me. That'll kind of get the thing rolling. At the end of the year, she literally dropped this off and said, thanks for, you know, inspiring me, encouraging me to do it and gifted me this, which was her first project, which is what I asked. I think my connection has been awesome. Um, I, I just, and that's little to do with me and so much to do with the students. Uh, this is my fourth year at West Ottawa. So I'm officially a senior here at West Ottawa. Um, but no, for real, it's, it's been awesome. Kids have just, uh, of every walk of life, have been um, open to uh, my silly questions and, and goofy dad jokes and just me being um, kind of the rambunctious dude that, you know, walks into, Friday classrooms for Pride Friday and brings way too much energy. Um, kids are awesome here. And I think that regardless of what class is coming through, um, there are so many people that just uh, really enjoy coming to school and it makes our job and our connection with students um, as assistant principals or teachers, whatever the role, um, that much easier and more natural because the kids are awesome. I think if I could maybe define a moment that was something that we all kind of experienced together, uh, it was two graduations ago um, in the midst, you know, in the throes of, of COVID um, to be able to come together in such an unorthodox way, you know, with a drive-in, uh, you know, graduation ceremony, everyone's rocking sunglasses, everyone's in, you know, lawn chairs. Um, people are resilient around West Ottawa. I think that's one of the many reasons why um, we are so phenomenal as a school community. That was a, the epitome of that, you know, through all that adversity, we come together, um, we adapt, we find a way to make a, a special, very special moment um, in, in the midst of that pandemic. Um, that was a cool, cool moment to see. So that was one of my favorite moments.